hey guys welcome or welcome back i'm gonna be doing my sinking funds for november um it is friday today i don't know if i'm gonna upload this today or tomorrow um but yeah i just wanted to say also this nail broke three times already and i'm gonna go get it fixed again but i don't know why but this nail keeps breaking um anyways all right so i have my cash here i always take 400 dollars out every month and I usually have like a tracker for my happy planner that I make myself, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling like it this month. And I feel like I might stop doing that um, because I feel like it's just too much for me right now. I don't know. Um, and I also have a tracker in here, so I feel like I don't really need it right now, but I don't know. Anyways, so I'll start with car maintenance and I'm adding $80. Fifty, seventy, eighty. Okay. So we have fifty, a hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy-five, and I already did the tracker, so it's correct. One seventy-five. Um, I do have to go get my car. Um, I need new tires, and I did save five hundred dollars for it. But last time they quoted me 400 and I walked out paying 700 so I want to have this in case I need more than the 500 but I'm going to try and not get scammed this time, so we'll see. Um, Christmas, I am putting 100 So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 505 And I already am starting to like look into Christmas gifts. I usually buy for Black Friday. I wanted to get Adrian a... It's kind of like the kitchen sets, like that same size, but it's like a vet, uh, like a vet thing. Um, so I might get him that, but his budget is $100 and it's $100 and I don't want to just get him one thing. So we'll see what I end up getting him. Um, all right, so I'm putting in 120 and I took out 160 because my dog passed away and I had to get her cremated and I paid for half. So... Um, I had 70 and I'm adding 120. This is 120. And I have to change this because I don't actually, um, have money for emergencies in here. I just took it out of here because I didn't want to put it on my credit card. But now I'm going to have to change this 120 because I usually only use this for their annual vet visits, which is only for um, two of my dogs. We have three dogs, but Adrian's dad has the one dog that passed away. Um, so now just my two dogs. And I don't, I wasn't usually paying for her stuff because she stays over there. Um, but I did pay for half of the cremation. And so now I have to fix this amount because I'm not going to have enough for um, Rex and Zeus's flea and tick and that's every three months and then their annual visit was like six hundred dollars a year so i have to change this number now so we have 50 100 20 40 60 80 90 and i'm probably gonna have to just do more than 400 dollars a month now because i just don't think it's just not enough um and i guess has 95 I'm adding in 15 and let's see I don't have any birthdays I don't think until December so we have 50 70 80 95 105 10 and I actually have a few birthdays in December so we'll see um, Adrian's, this is for his birthday party and I overspent on his birthday party. I think I went over by like a little over a hundred. So we're starting this over and oh, I didn't put, I didn't do this one. So it's going to be getting 45 and so 20, 45. And 
this is for his birthday party for next year. I'm gonna try and stay on budget. I actually like went way overboard. Like I bought way too much stuff. Um, I have a big family, so I just like, I don't know, like the day before his birthday party, I actually like went crazy in the grocery store buying more soda, more water, more of everything. And we have so much stuff left over. So I don't know, I need to, to reel it in next time. So for vacation, I'm adding in 20. So we have 140 and this is basically to go visit my dad. He said he'll pay for Adrian's ticket, so I have to get my ticket. He lives in North Carolina in Charlotte. So we'll see. Um, I'm like really nervous actually to travel with Adrian to go on a plane because I've never been on a plane with him. And because of I haven't um, done any traveling since coronavirus. So I don't know. I'm just like nervous and I'm, I don't know when I'll even go because... I'm like so anxious about it that my dad keeps asking me and he keeps saying he's going to pay for Adrian's ticket if I come up with my money, but I don't know. I'm just nervous. All right. So we have 20, 40, 65, 70 for medical and I have to take out $30 for, um, Adrian went to the eye doctor, um, me and his dad split medical bills based on our income. So it's 20 to 80. And it was 150, so I have my $30 here. Adrian also went to the hospital. I said in my last video or my second to last video, he collapsed, and they told us that the copay was 250 for the hospital, not including his EKG, CAT scan, and all that. So I told them to just send us the bill and we'll pay it. So I know at least it's 250, so I need to add some more money in here. Um, but at least I don't pay it all by myself. And uh, yes, so I also have some like other random co-pays for adrian that i have to pay so yes i'm just waiting i'm just waiting on the bills because i always tell them to just bill me um i don't ever pay like in the office so yes this 30 dollars has to go back to the bank to pay that back and then for my house sinking funds i did have to make some changes let's see so you can see I like put the sticker down and then I was like, eh, I don't feel like it. So it just takes so much time and it's like really repetitive because I literally write down the same numbers over and over. And then I haven't even been closing it out because there's like no point. It's so repetitive. And I, I do it because I like to be on track, but I don't know. I don't really reach into my sinking funds at all unless I need to. So it's not like I'm like picking out of them like every week. It's they're you know like long term so my changes are for my house sinking funds this is from october but the amounts that i'm putting in are changing because my gutters i'm getting them done this sunday and i estimated more than what i thought it was so right now i have 180 and i actually it's only 120 uh, he gave me the estimate. So I'm putting that down and he told me I can just get it done once a year. So I'm going to be doing it every year around this time. He says it's a good time to get it done like right before winter. So that number is going to be getting changed. So it's now I'm only going to be putting $5 a month from now until October or next October. And then for my furnace, um, that, and it's actually not even my furnace. It's a boiler guys. <laughs> I like don't even know what I'm talking about, but the boiler, where I put furnace was just to get it serviced, to get it checked every year, like an inspection. So I got that done and I also overestimated on that one. So that was a hundred dollars and I have 90 as of October, I'm adding in 10. So once I put that $10 in, I'm going to be transferring it back to my checking account, to my Chase bank account so that I can pay myself back for it because I gave him cash. And then I also have to get some back the 120 for the gutters for this Sunday. Um, and then for the water heater, I think like the amount that I had put down was like a thousand dollars, but he told me it was 1800 for a new water heater. And he told me he, this guy came and inspected it. He said that it was fine for this winter. So I actually pushed out my, um, date that I need it by, by another year and added the $800 to the amount I need. So that number changed. And then for my boiler, um, he said that, so when I got my home inspection done, which he's not a, a expert in 
these systems, but I mean, he's a home inspector. He told me that my boiler is old enough that it could break this year, potentially, or it could last me another like five to 10 years. And I know when my parents growing up, well, I'm the same thing. And there's lasted another like eight years, but I'm not going to rely on that. But he did tell me I am good for this winter. So for the boiler, I have $1,485. To get a new one, it's $5,000. So I pushed out. No, I left the date as it was. But I think I estimate. Yeah, I estimated $6,000. He told me, no, it's $5,000. So I lowered the amount. So I changed those numbers around as well. So now I'm going to be putting in $135. And then with all those number changes being lowered... I am able to now put 225 towards a new roof instead of 170, which will have me have the money sooner. Um, and I am very nervous because a new roof is, I am estimating $10,000. I haven't gotten an actual quote or an estimate, but $10,000 is obviously it's a lot of money. I only have 1530. So I want to like beef this up. Like I want to get to this goal as fast as possible. He told me it could last me three years, five years. So I just need to, you know, I'm, I'm, I put for January, January, 2025 is when I would have the amount, the $10,000, which is sooner than what I had, I think originally, but yes, um, the perks of home ownership and being a single mom doing everything by yourself. Um, and then I had fence here, but I'm actually cash stuffing it with my cash tips instead of with this money, which is my child support that I get from Adrian's dad. So yeah. And then general, I have a home maintenance fund now with my cash tips. This is, was like supposed to be like, like an emergency fund that I wasn't going to touch. And my home maintenance that I have in my cash sinking funds or my cash envelopes is something I'm, I've been touching kind of like every week because I have a lot of things to do in my house still. So I'm just going to keep not adding to this yet. And then when I'm kind of close to being done with my general repairs that I have right now, then I'll start putting money into this, if that makes sense. So because I don't want to like this is an online bank account and I don't want to keep like transferring money and transferring money out. Like I am literally doing stuff every other week here. So I don't want to keep like moving the money around. That's why I have it in cash at home. So, yes. So now I will be cash stuffing this. These amounts for the month of November are staying. I am changing them to this amount for the stuffing of December. So for this month, I am keeping these numbers. And then next month is when I'll switch to this. Because I did the numbers based off of starting in December. Uh, if that makes sense. And yes, yeah, so I'm just going to be doing the stuffing on Ally now. Um, Ally has buckets. So I'm going to also change the dates of my goal dates because that's an option on there, which I love. And um, changing the end, end goal amount because my furnace, I had 6,000 and then I had to change it to 5,000. Gutters had to change it from, I think I put 200 to 120. And then the water heater was 1,000. I had to change it to 1,800. So, oh, and this furnace, I need to change the name of this because it's not even, the guy was like, it's not a furnace, it's a boiler. Um, so I'm going to change it to servicing, I think is a good name. Um, all right. So that is it for this. And I will be cash stuffing uh, virtually with my uh, online sinking funds. All right. So I'm just going to be doing my ally buckets. So for the furnace, I am adding in $10. The gutters, I'm adding in $20. The water heater is going to be getting $85. And then the boiler gets 165 and the roof gets 170. And then I'm just going to go in and change the name of this bucket because it's not actually a furnace. It's a boiler and that's what I'm getting serviced every year. So I just wanted to change that real quick. And then I'm just going to take the money out of each bucket for the stuff I need to pay back. Um, I did get my, the servicing done. So that was a hundred dollars, which I had to take out. And then the gutters 120. And then I accidentally put 8,000. So I had to put it back. Um, and then I'm just going to be transferring myself the money back from my savings account to my 
Chase checking account. And that's going to be 220 100 for the servicing of the boiler and then 120 for the gutters. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be my November cash stuffing, first cash stuffing of November. I will see you guys. Bye.